two-time Super Bowl champion, and now Pro Football Hall of Famer, Terrell Davis. Yeah, what's up, Rich? Good to see you wearing your Hall of Fame jacket. Yes. You have the K-Jeweler yes. yes, ring that you received yes. on your hand. Yes. You have one on the corner of the desk right next to the MVP trophy that goes to the Super Bowl MVP this year, although uh, it was a different looking trophy. It was a different looking it, right? trophy when I got it, yeah. What was it? What, what it was, was like a long trophy. It had like a star on it. And so it was like a tall trophy. And as it went up, it was a star that was kind of tilted like this. Oh, okay. Um, now it's just a... It's, now it's a football. Yeah. It's, is it heavy? Because I haven't, I haven't held it before. Please lift let me, it, let me try no, this, sir. It's Terrell Davis holding the current. Yeah. Let me go ahead and lift it. What do you think? What do you got? It's deceiving, Rich. What do you mean it's deceiving? It looks like it's super heavy, but it's not. Okay. Yeah. Well, so you could put four points of pressure on it. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Pretty much. Now I got a, just a, a moment for a second here. Um, and what I'm, I'm so fortunate to do with the NFL Network and know you for as long as I have, okay, is that I have now, from now uh, several times, seen guys who have gotten to know and work with who deserve Pro Football Hall of Fame enshrinement go through the process and it can be really nerve wracking from time to time. Yeah. And then you go to Super Bowls and you don't hear your name called on occasion. And then one year you finally do. Yeah. And then you come up to the next Super Bowl dressed in the jacket. Yes. And have the ring on yes, your finger. Yes, I, I had to break the jacket out, Rich. I'm How sorry. does that to. feel, Terrell Davis, that the wait is over, yeah. the questions are over, the wondering is done. Yeah. It's it's in. You're in. It's done. It feels great. It really does. You know, um like you said, this point last year, you, we, I was on your set, yeah. and we were asking a question. You didn't want to really talk about it. It's hard to because you can't control it. What can I do to make it happen? Zero. And I try not to think about it because when you want something so bad, but you have zero influence on how it turns out, it drives you insane. So I prepared my mind both ways. I said, you know what? I'll prepare my mind if it happens. Obviously, I'll be thrilled. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't happen, then I was kind of preparing myself for the the typical, hey, you know what, it didn't happen again. Uh, mm -hmm. It's unfortunate, you know, and congratulations to the other guys who got in. Um, but I don't have to do that this year. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, you don't. Thank God. Don't and then the ring. That. I mean, yeah. the, the folks so at is, K Jewelers have really outdone themselves yeah, with the ring now. This, this ring is beautiful, man. This is called the, uh, uh, the Ring of Excellence, and every Hall of Famer gets this ring. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see that right there. It's a beautiful uh, ring, and the Hall of Fame entrusts K Jewelers to design this ring and create it. And uh, obviously, it's, it's a, an exceptional ring, and it's one of the three things you get, right? You get the jacket, the bus, and then a ring is a third mm -hmm. of all the three things that Hall of famers get and uh this is the one you wear every day i mean the jacket i don't wear the jacket every day but you can wear the ring as many times as you want to and it's subtle but it's not subtle mm -hmm. they call this a, the 10 table ring right you sit in 10 tables away you can see this ring but uh but how yeah many, how many tables is the broncos championship ring? you know what man i've only worn those i've worn this ring mm -hmm. way more than i've worn both mm -hmm. of those rings combined mm -hmm. um they're both. They're both. Spe they're all special. No question about sure, it. But there's sure. something different about this. About this one. Come on. Now. You know what I mean? Well, there. Look, we all know that there are hundreds, thousands of Super Bowl rings in existence. That's, yeah, that you're right. It's only 310, I believe. That's, well, what? Hold on. O open up. What's your jack? Because it oh, inside yeah. my, there's my a jacket number. It is. Uh, I'm 305. You're 305. You were 305. I'm 305. But and I think with the class, there's 310 of us. I believe. Yeah. There was a five after you. You yeah. were lucky to go and speak when you did, even though I know it was raining when yeah, you spoke. Yeah, yeah. Because when Kurt spoke. That was my dad, man. That was my pops, man. That was my Is pops. It was? Yeah, I think so, man. Was crying when you were out there? You know what? Yeah. You know, my pops from heaven? in heaven? Absolutely, man. That's so that was a great, great. sign. Yeah. That was great. So your pops was crying. Yeah. And your kids were eating candy. <laughs> eating Sour Patch. <laughs> sour patch that was a kids, great man. shot when they showed your kids during your speech. Yeah. I, I look up and I I think people are laughing at me and they're showing my kids on the big screen. <laughs> You're like, yeah, this is a great speech. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, making I'm killing people it right now. I'm killing it. <laughs> I look over and I see my kids like this. <laughs> I got a mother kid eating Sour Patch. My daughter, she has my, my wife's cell phone and she's not... Giving up the phone. Well, look, that's the way sometimes we've got to get kids through events. Yeah. Screen, anyway, screen time. Believe me, screen I was time. so against technology. Of course. My wife and I, we'd watch other people in the restaurants. We'd like, oh, never, we're never doing that. Never. We're never giving them an iPad. <laughs> Man, you got to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Boy, now, if we don't come equipped with iPads, oh, phones, everything, oh, because my. you have to. It would drive you insane. Um, airplane rides? Oh, my. <laughs> 
Imagine airplane rides. Well, back when we had to. I know, right? With no, <laughs> with, with no, that. Oh my God, uh, Terrell Davis here on the Rich Eisen show. Um, so, what do you? Who do you think takes home the trophy? Yeah, here? right now I, I got I got my mid my midweek selection, which you know we got the show on Sunday, man. So you were, again now? That's what I was going to say. I got the you, show on Sunday. You, you are part of the eight and a half. I'm hours. part of the uh, no, not I'm part of the eight and a half hour or the eight and a half hours or eight hours. Look, whatever we all we all know I'm there's only there's that. only four of us who do all eight and a half. <laughs> yeah, I'm not <laughs> Me, part of that crew. Mooch, Kurt, Irv. Okay. We're doing all eight and a half. You're doing all okay, eight and a half. Okay, so I'm done. Uh, but but like you're you. doing part. You're doing part I'm of doing it, I'm doing part, right? but I'm not sure if you, I'm even on the set with you guys. I think I'm on location somewhere. I, I think I'm on you. a, You're doing seven and a half hours of it. Just don't. Just no, I'm not doing I think I'm four, No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just letting you know. They wanted me to let you know you're doing seven and And who is they? Hours. Breaking news. They? <laughs> who, is, who is they, Rich? See, now, is there part of you that thinks that I'm serious right now? <laughs> no, zero. <laughs> zero. If it doesn't come through my phone oh, or really? my email, but it I doesn't know. exist. But I know. I know the rundown. Third party I know the information, rundown. just it doesn't <laughs> exist okay. when it comes to So who's your, my who's your who is your midweek? Patriots right now. All right. What yeah. do you think? Now, what would be, what would make you, you go know, from Patriots to Eagles over the next two and a half days? I know, right? It's it's uh, just being down here, right? I think just being down here, just getting a feel for the game. Mm-hmm. I like to just come down and and get a sense for what people are saying. I remember being in San Diego as a player, right, in Super Bowl thirty two, and I we came down that weekend just sit, sitting in the hotel room and hearing everybody say that the Patriots. Or at that time it was the Packers. Yep. The Packers Farf. were going to win that game. Yes. Right? They were going to go back to back on Back you. to back. As a player, the motivation you gain from that, just sitting in that room, I mean, Doug Peterson can't ask for a better, mo- for, can't pay for that. And if they take it the right way and harness that energy yes. and focus, yes. what we did in, in San Diego, we were able to come out and beat the Packers. Yes. And a lot of that, in my opinion, was the, for, for me at least, it made me fo- narrow my focus because I'm like, okay, we're going to shock the world. Well, also helped, so, also ha- helped to have a, a, a guy number seven, you know? No question. So, so you got why, number so, nine, wait, you right. got number nine here for the Eagles. I right. know he's been playing very well. Absolutely. But. And they have a good team. So they're not a team that got here by accident. They're uh-huh. not a team that's, you know, they pulled off two miraculous wins. They're a solid team that can win. They can beat the Patriots with talent right now. There's that word. Did you hear that word? What's that? Solid. They are solid. Solid. No, it's solid. What, what, what? solid is always. You don't like solid? No. <laughs> what you want? If I told you, hey, Terrell Davis. What you, you want? When, when, Terrell when, when, Davis, you were a solid running back. I, I take it. Thank you. No, you would not. <laughs> you I'll would not. Solid. You were like, no, you're solid. I'll take solid. Solid's good. What's wrong with solid, solid man? Solid is no. You solid is that like a backhand infu- compliment? Yes, it's infused. <laughs> it's infused with all sorts of negative connotations. Solid. Okay, let's say what other Eagles what are a what solid what one seed, man. Kidding. They're a solid team. Well, all right. What's 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 another one? Then? Give me another adjective like uh, yeah, championship. I, they haven't won one. Uh, no, they won an NFC championship. But that's come on, man. How many NFC champions do you know? Like, can you remember? Not well, the last five years. There like, were a lot of Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> I got Jim Kelly I mean, on an hour three. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. I mean, uh, you barely I remember the Super Bowl guy, the okay. team that lost in the Super Bowl. Okay. I've so got, they're not. I mean, they're a good team. They are. They're a good, solid team. That, but they have to play. The thing about them is, mm-hmm. they have to play their best football, right? Did you expect Nick Foles to play the way he played no. in the title game? No. No. If they can get that Nick Foles, mm-hmm. bring him. In mm-hmm. that stadium behind you? Okay. Okay. Yeah, but do you really think Nick Foles is going to have the game of his life two weeks in a row? No. That's, <laughs> that's why I'm leaning with that's why That's why he's the yeah. yeah. right now. <laughs> and every Nick ends with K. <laughs> <laughs> and every kiss, every be- kiss begins with K. K Jewelers at Terrell <clears throat> underscore Davis. I didn't warm up. Hey, real morning. quick, we had, we had Willie McGinnis here yesterday. He yeah. was the one who brought out the trophy last year when the Patriots won. Yeah. And he was cursing up a blue streak and whatever. And there yeah. was all sorts of... You brought out the trophy when the when the Broncos won. Would you have brought it out for the Panthers, or did they have a Panther sitting by you just in case? No, I said I didn't actually bring the trophy out. I was the you, first one. I was in the first leg of the oh, handoffs. Oh, okay. They were handing it they off like hand- a baton? Yeah, because I wasn't initially part of it. Okay. And right before the game had ended, I told Tracy Perlman, I said, Tracy, yeah, from listen, the league. Yeah. you know what would be great? Mm-hmm. If I, if I were to hold, uh, hand that trophy off to the Broncos yeah. when they win this game. Yeah. And she's like, that's a great idea. Mm-hmm. So I went down on the field, but they had already had Brett Favre 
they had Joe Namath and they had Lynn Swan already scheduled to do it. Wow. So Lynn was the third, the, the person that was going to hand it off to the Broncos. So mm -hmm. I went to Lynn. I said, hey, Lynn, hey, uh, hey, bro, you know what, man? Uh, how, about, how about we switch? Because right? yeah. uh, Brett Favre, I took his spot. He was first. Mm -hmm. And Lynn was like, he's like, no. I said, <laughs> I said, he told me what? that he really wanted to, he said, he like, this moment, he dreamt of, the, of, the, of this moment. He's won, he won four of them. I said, wait a minute, I, and I, he was laughing, I, and I, was, I, thought, I thought he was playing. I was like, okay, man, whatever, you just playing. I was like, are you serious? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've, I've dreamt of this moment, so I'm, I'm going to take it to, to the Broncos. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, man. Wow. If, if, if the, if the wow. Steelers were up there, you, you wouldn't even have to ask me. I would volunteer at Hey Lynn. I think you should take this trophy up because it's only appropriate Dang. that you do that. <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to give the trophy to the Broncos. Oh. Thank you, Lynn. Wow. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, now you could take it up with him every summer in Canton. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's at USC right now, so. Okay. <laughs> oh, my, hey, and uh, Georgia was there at the final. We were there. It was a great season. Mm -hmm. Man, it's so close. It was the highest of the highs, and it was the lowest of the lows in like a two-minute span. Hey, speak to Vikings fans, too. Oh, my goodness, From I know. From one week to the next. Uh, good to see you, sir. Thank you, I man. will see you. Terrell Davis. So let me just send my plug one time. Go man. for You it. know Valentine's Day is coming up, right? Yes. So, Rich, you like winning on Valentine's Day, right? Yes. You got to win, right? So here's, here's my advice. Go to your local K-Jeweler store or K.com to find a special gift so that you are winning. K.com or, yes. uh, or your local K-Jeweler dealer. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you, Rich. You are a good man. Appreciate it, man. A at Terrell underscore Davis. And TD will be on uh, NFL Network with me for all eight and a half hours. <laughs> Four hours. <laughs> on Sunday. Four hours. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.